my name is davar naim and you are watching rptv news the sdp employment and economic development committee is one of the four pillars of region park social development plan let's hear about their plans and activities uh, my name is gail lynch uh, i am a resident here in region park i am one of the co-chairs uh, of the uh, resident co-chairs of the employment and economic development working group Marwan? Yeah, my name is uh, Marwan Kugali, resident of Regent Park for about 17 years now. Uh, resident co-chair for the Employment Working Table. And I think uh, we're just missing Paula, who is the uh, agency co-chair of this working table. What is the Employment and Economic Development Committee all about? So that, that's the most important question here. Uh, so first and foremost, the Employment and Economic Development working group is one of the four working groups of the social development plan and the social development plan's vision is social inclusion and social cohesion uh, so in terms of employment and economic development we focus on increasing sustainable employment rates and entrepreneurial opportunities marwan yeah and i think uh to to gail's point you know we're trying to address you know, barriers to employment uh, in our work. And we've already identified some with Aisha's work. Uh, you know, there's the language barriers, there's a criminal record, there's lack of proper training. Um, there's racism, racism and Islamophobia. Uh, there's access to clothes, like proper clothes and equipment. Uh, you know, there's housing issues, accessibility issues, anxiety, ageism. Um, you know, there's this lack of uh, computer skills. There's so many things that are lacking, and I think part of the work, uh, or part of what Gail said, I think, you know, uh, is trying to identify, you know, the, the services that are being provided by some of these uh, service providers, and to make that connection, and to find out why residents are not taking advantage of these things. At the same time, challenge some of these ones, like the racism one, for example. You know, that's, that's something on a systemic level. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, it's across the board, but how do we here at Regent Park, in our beautiful, vibrant, and amazing community, how do we kind of, take that barrier down, you know what I mean? And, and making sure that residents have access to employment and, and eliminating all barriers, right? So that's the challenge here. And that is the goal and, and we hope, you know, with your help, we can, uh, we can get there. How does this committee benefit Regent Park? So uh, the EED working table uh, is extremely crucial uh, and instrumental in Regent Park because Regent Park has been proven to be a neighborhood, and Gail can also attest to this, that has a lot of a lot of accreditation in terms of education. There's a lot of you know, qualified and educated residents, but for some reason, rather, we have a higher unemployment rate than the rest of the city. And I think Gail can speak more on the stats. So you know, uh, I think one of the things that is key, you know, you cannot um, you know function, you cannot um, take care of your family if you don't have sustainable income, right? Uh, if you don't have sustainable ways to maintain the livelihood that you dreamed of, right? And we know that this community is a BIPOC community, right? Black, indigenous, people of color. We know that this community is also uh, a high um, immigrant community. I'm an immigrant to this country. And so uh, we know that there are challenges just from being an immigrant in terms of getting a uh, job uh, or sustainable employment, right? Um, you know, a three-month job uh, or a contract is not sustainable, right? That certainly may be a stepping stone too. But what we want to ensure uh, that is that residents do have sustainable employment, do have the correct, the right supports to build economic development, and I think that that is the core of the of why the uh, employment is needed or this group is needed in this community. Uh, it's not, you know, you just cannot function without having that sustainable employment and those supports around economic development. 100%, and I think if I could add to what just Gail said, I think, you know, when you think about Regent Park, uh, you know, I'm sick and tired of how, you know, it's highlighted, the negative connotations are highlighted. You know, how Regent Park is plagued by, you know, gun violence and, and gang activity and prostitution and, um, you know, the youth are, are just, uh, you know, shine under that light of, you know, all they do is sell drugs. But I'll be honest with you, uh, it's, it's a neighborhood that 
I feel like has existed based on its circumstance. You know, there hasn't been employment opportunities for the youth. Uh, and I think I came here and Gail is here as well. And so it's Polity challenge that to create those opportunities for the youth. Uh, we do understand that they are the future of Regent Park. They're the future, uh, you know, of Toronto. They're the future of the world, right? So I think we need to invest in them. And this employment table is going to be very pivotal uh, in how that looks like. What work has been done so far? So that is, that is also a fantastic question. And so we are in the middle or the tail end of uh, some work that was done around understanding the needs, right? You cannot create a plan and a strategy unless you know what the needs of are the people that you're supporting. And to understand those needs, you have to ask. So we had a research lead go out and do, and indeed do that, exactly that, ask. Um, so you will see me looking down often, and that's because I'm looking at that data. So what I want to plug here certainly is that we are going to be presenting this information to the community. That includes all residents, all stakeholders, uh, whoever you are. Uh, so some of the things that we certainly know that there are barriers to employment. Um, we know that uh, there is a barrier in terms of language and literacy. That's 23% of Regent Park residents say that's a barrier. Uh, we know that um, where to find jobs is a barrier. That's 27, 27% of this community says that is a barrier. So that's a, high, uh, that's a high number. That should tell us, that tells us, oh, uh, folks do not know where to find jobs. So now what do we do to change that? Uh, what do we do to fix that? Uh, we also have a high number, 32% lack the appropriate training. So we have many uh, agencies or service providers providing uh, uh, training workshops, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Are they not hearing about them? Is it not the right types of training? So when you ask and you find out what the issues are now, you can put a strategy and a plan in place to, do that, uh, to fix that or to solve for. So now we've got the data and our next step is to hire a research lead. We are in the tail end of doing that. We'll hire that, uh, sorry, that uh, employment lead who is now going to take this data. Uh, talk to residents some more, talk to st stakeholders some more, get some more understanding and put that strategy together with the support of the residents. We cannot do this without residents at the table. How can the community members get involved? Yes, I want to take that question and turn it around and say to the residents, how do you want to engage? How do you want to get involved, right? Not everybody wants to come to a meeting. Uh, maybe you have an idea that you say, this would work really well in Regent Park. Uh, whether it's an idea for a, a business or it's an idea for how we can do this work. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have a skill set, right? Because again, we have high tertiary level education here in Regent Park. So maybe you're a researcher. You're like, I can help with this type of work. Uh, maybe you are, I mean, the list is endless, right? There, there's so much that we need. Maybe you're in landscape and you're like, I see so many uh, places here with uh, you know, opportunities for more green space. I can help in that area. I've worked in that area, or that's what I'm in school doing right now. So I think that it, the, the question for me is, how do you, the resident, want to get involved? And maybe your involvement is, all my involvement is, is I would like to have a great job for my sons or daughters. I think for me that is involvement as well, because yep. you've said, here is my need. So to the residents of Regent Park, how do you want to get involved as we do this work around employment and economic development to provide sustainable opportunities for us as residents? So like I mentioned before, uh, you know, last year we were able to submit you know, a few projects uh, for the SDP funding. So we got funding from the city and we were probably going to get more funding with community benefits with Tridel and, and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, you know, and, and other, other channels. But I think what's key here is we want residents to come to our table to learn, to learn about you know the work that has been done, to bring ideas and even bring projects. Uh, you know, we, our working table is a perfect opportunity for that. I think you know this year is going to be another opportunity where residents can come in and probably get their projects funded. Uh, but but I think you know my message to the community when they come in, 
uh, and that's part of our work is to engage you. And if we're missing you, maybe this is a perfect opportunity to capture you uh, in this channel. Uh, but what I do ask is when you come, you know, try to think in terms of how do we move this community forward? Think of projects and how we move this community forward. It's extremely key. I think it's on all of us. It's not just on me, Kale, and Paula. I think it's all of us, all residents uh, and all Regent Parkers. I call on you. So for all the residents who are interested in joining our working table, uh, you can either email Gail or myself. And I'm also going to remind you guys of the other four working tables, or the other four pillars of the SDP, which is the communications, safety, community building. Uh, you know, you can reach out to the other co-chairs as well. You can watch the other videos that have also been created on, on, on the other uh, uh, working tables. And I urge, and I really urge for you guys to go learn about the other working tables and get involved. Get involved because this work depends on you, just the way it depends, because we're residents, right? And we're doing this work. So, uh, you know, the work is on us. Uh, you know, we're going to get supports from the stakeholders, I mean, other stakeholders and, and other, uh, you know, service providers and agencies, but the work actually lies on us. When, when you do contact us, the great thing about this is that uh, we've got a, you, you get an orientation email that helps you to understand uh, what the SDP is about, uh, you know, what each working table does, and then uh, our coordinator will give you a call and understand, help to understand what, how you want to get involved. And then, you know, so the decision is really all with you. And, uh, you know, I like the fact that you get that orientation. So you, as a resident, can make a decision as to how, here's how I want to get involved, rather than getting involved in a way that is not helpful for you. And I'm going to add one thing, sorry. And the EED working table, just so everybody knows, it's probably the most fun <laughs> and the most engaging. Thanks to this amazing, <laughs> amazing person right here. So come join us. It's a lot of fun. Come get to learn about our work and be, and be part of it. Absolutely. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share to our channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. And for more information, please check out our website.